Hello everyone, Pally Tub here. Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. Welcome back to the A through Z playthrough. We find ourselves on Jaina Proudmore today. No face cam for me. I'm feeling like hot garbage, but I could still intro this video. I can do it. Jaina was added into the game on December 2nd, 2014. If memory serves, I remember her being one of the first characters that was added into the game with three distinct builds. This is back when there were still a lot of generic talents that a lot of characters had in their talent builds that were like universal for a lot of different roles. Well, Jaina came out of the gate with a Q playstyle, an E playstyle, and a W playstyle that you could totally build around. And it was, for me anyway, the moment that Heroes Development got really, really good. You know what's funny? Back in the day, Q playstyle was like the only way to play her. You would throw out your, I guess it would be better to look at abilities, throw out your Frostbolt, it would pierce through enemies, it would do a lot of single target damage, and that was how everyone played Jaina for years. These days, it seemed to have cycled over to more of an E build setup. Blizzard has always been the most unpopular way to play, although there have been additions to this to make it even better. For instance, Ice Fury Wand gives you more CDR and also allows you to get um, cooldown reduction on minions, on non-hero targets, meaning you could actually use Blizzard significantly more often. When I was practicing this character on livestream, I played maybe four games tops, and I kept gravitating towards the Blizzard build, and I was going for just the siege play style that was actually kind of super fun. If an enemy left their building, I could just kind of kill it <laughs> like pretty quickly uh back in the day q build was the thing you would go and you would pick up icy veins and just get a ton of cooldown reduction of course you can still do that as well with the build that we are showing today but even though q build isn't quite as popular frost shards has still recently got a change allowing it to pierce an additional target the way we're playing today is focused around this talent at level 7, Icy Flows, increases the width of Kona Cold by 100%, and cause each hero hit to reduce its cooldown by 2 seconds. I have never played this build before, decided to go in hot in this episode and just kind of see how it played out, and I gotta say, I had a pretty good time. My favorite memory with Jaina was when I got to go to the where they de debuted the skin. It was Gamescom, the same year that Kel'Thuzad was first shown off. And this was a year that they brought out a lot of Heroes influencers to the convention and then had massive technical difficulties. So most of them didn't have anything to do for the entire week. But I had a great time actually sitting down with Dunk Train and he just taught me how to play this character from the ground up. And like really encouraged me and he was really patient and i think we have that on a live stream somewhere but it, it was a really really good time oh and one more fun fact before we get started laura bailey voices jana proudmore she's obviously in everything these days and of course voices jana inside of uh, world of warcraft as well but just fun to point out she's married to travis willingham who voices gaslo if you didn't know that, that's your fun fact for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was pretty intense. And I'll see you guys again next time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on Warhead Junction today. This is going to be a trial by fire. I've done maybe like three practice games on Jaina. Still feeling pretty shaky, but I like to do runs where I'm not entirely confident. Yes, sometimes we do learn characters for weeks leading up to their A through Z episodes. This is not one of those times. I do have a build I'm going to try. This has kind of taken over for popularity with Jaina, and it really surprised me. I feel out of touch with this character in a lot of ways, and I'm sure I probably touched on that a little bit in my intro at level one we are going to go for fingers of frost my thought mentality was that you either had to take that or frost armor or excuse me um arcane intellect if you wanted to get mana back but it seems like a lot of builds are taking both these days the enemy team's comp is terrifying for a lot of different reasons but it's a lot of melee and a lot of displacement that can do a ton of damage to me friendly team jane alex draws a very Zuljin and hooked on phonix uh the enemy team gray main rhaegar imperious zarya and someone else there's someone else over there too garrosh can you believe it that is a 
pretty scary looking team. So we're really going to have to be on the ball if this is going to work. In a few of my games leading up to this, I was experimenting with uh, Blizzard build Jaina just to see what that was like. And I actually found a lot of success with taking camps with that kind of a play style. But this is the most popular way to play her now. And it seems like you go in to like medium range and get relatively aggressive with your E ability. And I kind of want to see how that works. We need to soak team. Top's just getting run down. I don't think anyone has soaked bottom yet. I'll, I'll just head down to bottom and I'll start doing that. Unfortunately, the enemy team already with five kills under the belt. Oof, a little lopsided in the beginning and still no one continues to soak the top lane. Hopefully someone goes up there soon. There was a decent amount of XP waiting for me here. That's good to see. Uh, Garrosh rotating down, actually chasing after Phoenix, who's trying to get away. It looks like no casualties there. Alex Straza able to make it out as well. Enemy team likely going to be rotating down to this lane soon as well, if we're dispersing out of middle. Jaina does have some pretty phenomenal lane clear. I guess I'll explain her abilities really fast. Her Q ability, straight line skill shot that you just saw there. Uh, impacts the target, dealing damage, hits the first enemy, doesn't do anything else without talents. Our W ability is a circle, a circle skill shot. It does a few waves of damage uh, in an area, and our E ability is a conal skill shot that is pretty close to, that's launched pretty close to our character. Anytime we deal damage with any of our abilities, we apply a chilled debuff to the target, which means they're going to take bonus damage from any other abilities that we land for a few seconds, and they're going to be slowed. Uh, after we deal so much damage to chilled targets, which I think is 15,000, we do on unlock a new ability that we'll be able to activate called Improved Ice Block, which allows us to avoid quite a lot of damage out on the battlefield in the right situation. Imperia is playing pretty scared. I'm not too sure why, um, but I will try to take advantage of that. Unfortunately, missing my Cone of Cold. We do have Phoenix rotating down. Uh, is he... Oh... Ooh, several members of the enemy team now here as well. I don't think I can kill him, but we can deal some decent damage there. We do dodge his Q as well, trying to just fall back to my buildings now as Rhaegar moves in. That slow totem is going to be enough for me to want to leave. Uh, still contesting this at the moment, though. Varian is here. Alex Straza is here. We could have a pretty good team fight. Uh, Imperius moving in. I hit him with everything I got. The full combo down on him there. Zarya just walking up to my face, but we are going to hit one more Q on Imperius, taking him out out of the fight. Uh, Garrosh looking to get involved on the back line. We do hit him with the Cone of Cold. I'm going to put a Blizzard right on top of that nuke as well. Trying really hard to stay safe with my positioning here. It looks like we're slowly being pushed out. I did do some damage to Zarya, but I'm just running out of mana. However, Tazdingo is showing up. That's a lot of auto attack damage. He doesn't need mana for any of that. I could start the channel while they're pushing them back. If they move into melee range, we hit the Cone of Cold on Garrosh. Trying to deal damage. He's taken down. I'm going to go for the channel again. Hey, nice teamwork from the friendly team. Nicely done. We're going to pick up, uh, actually, I didn't actually read the talent. Hold on. I have to make plays. Hold on. Here we go. Perfect. And moving in with the nuke. We earned it in the bottom lane, taking down the wall and hopefully doing a little bit of damage to this building. Uh, they're already reinforcing Zarya back in the fight. Let's get some free damage on her. I know she has a shield up and that increases her damage, but I need to get my ice block online as soon as possible. So we did pick up Ice Flows, increase the width of Cone of Cold by 100% and cause each hero hit to reduce the cooldown by two seconds. Doubled against chilled heroes. Uh, the new cone is like this. I did show it briefly before, I believe, at least I hope I did, uh, but it's quite a bit wider now. Did you know that Kerrigan's E ability used to be wider than this, I think? <laughs> <laughs> That's weird to think about, huh? That's pretty weird to think about. Enemy team has taken over that top four. We're, we still don't seem to be doing a great job of so... Oh, shit. Dodge it. Dodge it. Do oh, my God. I actually dodged it. <gasps> oh. 
That was pretty scary. That was pretty scary. I didn't like that. Didn't like that. Oh, team actually rotated up to the top lane. Maybe we take this to try to go hell. Oh, that's looking pretty sketchy. I'm in though. I'm in though. That's a lot of damage. Was it enough? It doesn't fucking look like it. I'm trying to lean. Oh, that's not kidding. <laughs> Almost had my E ability off cooldown when I died. Maybe it just came off cooldown. Probably could have killed Rhaegar with that. Kind of panicked. Never tried to use those in combat before. Never thought about the channeling time. Uh, that's okay, though. Shouldn't have been involved in that fight anyway because the enemy had level 10. That's okay. We'll blame it on being tired. It is 2.55 in the morning after all. Enemy team did manage to grab that mercenary camp. Our team's still death ball, and I'm just going to go try to soak XP. Try to keep us in this in some capacity. Gray main rotating to our middle wall. Uh, three members of his friendly team are actually down at the bottom lane right now. He could turn around and do quite a lot of damage to me. I'm not really looking for that, but... Um, I mean... Yeah, I, I could have almost killed him there, to be honest. Let's go ahead and summon in the water elemental. We're going to put this on Greymane and try to just finish him off. But unfortunately, I couldn't move much there. Water elemental is focusing Garrosh right now. We're going to have him move over to Rhaegar. If I can just keep him alive. Yes, I am microing him right now. We might be able to finish off Rhaegar. Being displaced by Garrosh there is just no fun. And unfortunately, I don't have too much to... Uh, actually answer that with if I let him get in position for that to happen I mean I'm just gonna pay the price that's pretty much as simple as it is a level 20 we might have some answers for it we might be able to use ice blink to get away from him but that's pretty far away at this stage uh, before I get the nuke I'm gonna grab these two globes that'll go for my quest we still need that to happen uh, Imperius is rotating up to me right now Whoever pinged me was correct. So I'm going to try to stay somewhat safe. I believe he did just see me. Zarya here as well. There we go. Bonus damage to her. She's starting to back up. Garrosh moving in. We're going to try to slow him down. Water Elemental is out as well. Cone of Cold dealing bonus damage. Is it going to be enough? They're really piled up here. Boys. Hold on. I almost have another E. Oh, God. Water Elemental was in there doing some damage too. Oh, they just walked all over us. That's so disappointing. I feel like I wasn't impactful at all. Mm. Well, we did do a decent amount of damage. We almost have our ice box so we can play a little more aggressively. I can't tell if this is a me problem or if they're just really moving in and controlling the space. Good news is they nuked middle. You love to see that. We do have a Merc camp that's up, but I don't really think I'm the one that's that qualified to take it. I was hoping that would hit some minions there. Ooh. I don't want Garrosh moving up that close to me. I don't want that at all. Varian's looking like he might want to go in. I kind of want to take this camp. We got to get some pressure on these guys. They're deathballing so much, but unfortunately, they're doing it on a map where there's not a lot of Merc camp pressure that we can really push back with. Man, in some of my practice games, I was doing Blizzard build and literally like I would end the game with 6,000 hero damage and just take camps the entire time. I was having the time of my life. <laughs> It was really, really fun. Team seems really afraid to fight, and I gotta be honest, I'm kind of afraid to. Enemy team does have one level lead. We're trying to get that XP right now to get us back in this game. Uh, a couple more region globes, three more region globes, and I'm done with my quest. Um, Imperius is pushing middle, and Zarya's bottom. So we know the enemy team is split. This might be a good engage if we can get him in there. Oh, or if he wants to come to us, I'll certainly take that. He is going to be Imperius thrown out by Garrosh, and now Garrosh in a full retreat, peeling for his team. We got some good damage in there with our... Hold on, I'm scared. Oh, how is he not dead, Imperius? He's dead. He's died, he's died, he died. Ellie's on Garrosh. I have a frontal cone. There it is. I'm fucking terrified. Get me back in this heal. I got it. Uh, ice barrier. Give me that shield. I need that shield if I'm going to survive, dude. I need that shield. Oh, we did hit Garrosh with a nice blizzard and a cone of cold. We're actually uh, pushing them back right now. 
Alex Straza getting pulled in is pretty scary though. Do I even do this if, yeah, I guess I do. I wasn't sure if I spam my E if the targets aren't already chilled, but I think that's the right thing to do. We should have a big chill here, but it didn't hit as many people as I was hoping. We're still backing up, I got another chill. Oh, almost got the Q damage out on Rhaegar. Did pop my ice block there. Water elemental. I'm not sure if it was off cooldown, to be honest with you. I'm really not sure. 38,000 hero damage right now. These guys are moving into us and just taking so much punishment as they are moving in. Once I hit level 16, we're going to be able to pick up the root on our Cone of Cold. That means everyone that we're hitting with this is going to be even more crowd controlled from all the damage that we're doing. Unfortunately, Taz Dingo is getting jumped on. Does go immune to damage. A nice laser picking up a kill there as well. Um, oh, my blizzard didn't go far enough. They're just on the edge of my abilities right now. Zarya moving up. We're going to spawn the elemental. Have it focus her. Garrosh moving in on me now is going to toss me in. And unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. Alex Strauss is trying to heal me, but I'm inside the damage radius of that Imperius, and I'm just taken down. I'm frustrated. I feel like I have to play close enough to be able to use Cone of Cold, but if I'm playing in that range, I'm just so susceptible to everything. This is the reason I've never really jived with Jaina. When her abilities are on cooldown, I just don't know what to do with myself. I suppose I should be doing more of a hit and run kind of play style. But damn, the four deaths I have feel like 400 right now. Uh, the friendly team is relatively spread out. We have Dingo up top. One nuke is in play. The enemy team moving in for it right now. We're probably not going to be able to contest that. Although with Phoenix poking, we might be able to get a little bit of something done. I have to... Uh-oh, that's bad. I have to stay really far away from Garrosh if we're going to make anything happen. And unfortunately, he is now down. So I imagine they're going to be moving in with everything that they got. Good damage on Zari. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough to kill her. Let's pull the water elemental back as well actually water ellie has already been killed dingo is on the way in but we just simply cannot defend here it is just not doable bloodlust being used oh and i'm cut off from the pack trying to move away i hit him with the cone of cold sending out the q as well i have no cooldowns right now i have nothing blizzard's down is it enough to hit garrosh Garage is down. Rhaegar's looking at me. Oh my god, everybody's looking at me. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Uh, 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 almost made it away, but the cocktail through the wall is going to kill me. Phoenix with a really nice ult there, actually splitting the team quite well. We did hit level 16. Numbing Blast coming online. Cone of Cold. Roots chilled targets. What I was unsure of is do I just send the Cone of Cold immediately even if they're not chilled? If it's off cooldown because it is going to lower its cooldown even just passively hitting someone who isn't already chilled? I think the answer is yes. It's just holy shit getting close enough to do that versus this team is so terrifying. Uh. It feels like we're holding on, but then you look at the map and you realize that we've barely just scratched one of the buildings of the enemy team as we lose all of our forward defenses. Luckily for us, they're really not doing that much with camps on the map. They're just winning fight after fight after fight. If we get to level 20, we have two things that we could potentially pick up. One is our water elemental being able to mimic our spells. I don't know how that interacts with my cooldown reduction on my E. I assume they they don't double up, but I don't know for sure. And the other thing we could do is just get that blink to hopefully get out to safety if Garrosh goes for us. And I think that might be the play. Phoenix really alone on that side of the map. I almost was swallowed by the beast though, so I don't have much room to talk. Uh, we do have a mercenary camp push in the bottom lane. We might want to just go down there, clear that, go rejoin the team a moment later, or stay up here right now. To be totally honest, I'm, I'm really not sure what the right play is. Uh, Dingo checking boss is going to be thrown in. Garrosh 
Pretty happy with that play, I bet. Dingo is unkillable. Garrosh in a great spot for me to deal some damage. Water Elemental is out. We're hitting pretty hard. I have to stay in range for the Cone of Cold. I have to make it happen. I'm spamming all of my abilities every motherfucking time they come off cooldown. But somehow I am still too slowed. Wait, are we actually still continuing to take this or are we giving up on this? I don't know what the plan is. I don't know what we're doing. I just know that Phoenix isn't fucking helping me. Enemy team now re-engaging. We're trying to back up now. Here is the Cone of Cold into a Blizzard cube being shot out behind me. Oh my God. Uh, the objective's up, boys. The objective's up. That's four nukes that our team won't be able to pick up and level 20 for the enemy team. I really thought we were gonna try to burst boss down. I don't, fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, I mean, I can fight it, you know, a little bit. Varian and Dingo are up, they're defending bottom, that's good. I just don't know what we're gonna do about these nukes. I don't know what we're gonna do about these nukes at all. Uh, the enemy team's missing, but I'm pretty confident that they are, you know, not going after me at the moment. They have plenty of stuff to occupy their time with everywhere else on the map currently. Um, luckily, boss isn't going to get much further than the wall, it looks like. But what is this team going to do with their nukes? Firing a lot of them off in middle, it seems. All right, let's get the elemental out early. I have it on Imperius. Imperius is rooted. Blizzard was out. Unfortunately, my elemental is already dead. They focused it down really fast. Team just so afraid to move up. I know they have level 20s, but... They were actually in a great spot for us to fight just a moment ago. But I mean, really, what are we fighting over? Uh, we should probably keep that in mind as well. If, if I'm just looking to fight for no reason, that's probably not a good fight. Uh, Phoenix needs to be so very careful moving out right now, especially when we just saw the enemy team here, but it looks like he's okay. Uh, we are at level 19, hopefully getting back into this game with our level 20 talents. We're just half a level away from that right now. Enemy team pushing in hard up top. Water elemental off cooldown in 11 seconds. Garrosh throwing our dingo in. I'm trying to combo in here as well. At the same time, root on Imperius as I hit him with the Q. Trying to back up. We have another root going forward. Water elemental is out having her hit Zarya. Now Imperius, who I can root inside of tower range. I can root again. Oh my god. Running out of cooldowns here. Running out of roots. Never mind, I got one more. Imperius goes down. Or Rhaegar goes down. Imperius goes down. Garrosh goes down. I have a blizzard. I fucking missed it. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I think I did it. I think I finally did it. I think I just played Jada right. Holy crap. Holy crap, we held, we held, we held. Nice job. Okay, I'm getting the blink. I'm afraid of everything, and I, I need that to keep me safe. We have done 81,000 hero damage in this game. Holy crap. We need to get some pressure moving in, in the right places. I'm going to keep our lanes pushed out. We have fantastic lane clear, so that shouldn't be a problem. Boom, it's gone. Dingo's going to take that lane uh, so we can finish this thing off. Okay, hooked on phonics. Taking that camp right now. We are still in this game. We are still in this game. We just need to make sure that we control these nukes. And so far, no one's moving towards the nukes just yet. Uh, I'm going to ping for a lot of assistance. I'm also going to move up for this vision. Our team is so fucking spread out. Okay. Two, one. Channeling. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. I'm taking this bottom. That's a dead building. You may launch when ready, Administrator. Good, 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 good. Looks like they got top nuke. I need to mount up, but I can't. They teleported in behind us. We got the building though. Oh shit. 
I don't want to lose this one. I'm still holding on, man. I'm still holding on to the hope right now. I think we could do this. The enemy team only has one nuke in their possession. How long on boss? 30, 30 sec on boss. Just letting the team know. Not implying that we should do that. Oh, that catapult didn't die. There it goes. They're not pressuring any lane right now. We're not seeing them on the map anywhere. And we're actually almost the same level now. Dingo's taking a dangerous route. Boss just became, came in play. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm scared. I'm scared. Varian's in. He doesn't see him. Oh god, I hate this. What is even happening right now? Watch out. Oh my god. Zarya's moving in. There's Garrosh. There's Garrosh. Elemental's on him. Elemental has him chilled. I couldn't attack. He's rooted in, in the ult. Keep elemental on him. They're rooted. I'm backing way up, backing way up, backing way up. Trying to avoid some damage here. I have another root. Got him. <sighs> Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. Well, yeah, let's get... Oh my god, we're losing to Winions! We're losing to Winions! No! No! Oh. Wow, our core took a big hit there. Our core took a huge hit there. Oh no, dude. Alright, this is cleared. Uh, Nuke's gonna be active. Both top and bottom. No one's heading to the bottom one yet. I'll start heading that way. Uh, they won't be able to intercept me. We're okay on time. 90,000 hero damage this game. Oh. The real problem is I don't know where they're going to go now. I want to take our camp to get this pushing to keep pressure on them. But, like, we just used two nukes on top, and it's not even dead. They still have... God, they just have so much ground. Even if we could push there, I don't know what we would push. We would just have... I mean, obviously, we would have to go for bottom, but everyone was so spread out that there was no way we could get there in time. We are getting some stuff moving. Enemy team responding with the same thing. Did I just see something on my side of the wall there? Or am I losing it, bro? Might be losing it. We see Rhaegar bottom, Zarya bottom. Uh, we have a Merc camp pushing top, so those minions that are gathering there shouldn't be that big of a deal. Scared, bro. Scared. Clear the lane, get the glove. Clear the lane, get the glove. On Rhaegar. Elemental on Rhaegar. Rhaegar's rooted. I miss, I think. Damn it. Hopefully our team's able to able to walk over them. Hopefully. Greymane went so deep on me. Alex draws a pinging for help as no one is moving in with her. Look at it. She's trying to set up the kill and no one's moving in. She was abandoned! Oh, you hate to see it. Um, so I broke line of sight with Greymane as he was chasing me. I was trying to get into this bush to root him and then run away. Uh, I tried to use Ice Block at the last second, but unfortunately I died even before my E was able to release. So he was able to take me down there. Enemy team starting to congregate up towards boss. Friendly team really slow on this rotation again. Uh, looking like... I mean, I understand we have to clear our lanes. 
But we can't let them get bossy there. They're putting us in a very difficult position, that is for sure. Dingo and Varian making their way up there right now. I'm making my way up too. Really big wave up top. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like that Merc Camp that we got wasn't really enough to clear this out. Maybe the two catapults kind of weighing it down. Both teams are alive again. The tense moments continue. Uh, we just saw two middle. Honestly, they could kind of pressure core with Bloodlust and win. And I don't think there's much we could do to really stop them. I'm kind of surprised that hasn't happened yet, to be totally honest. Looks like they might be heading that way now. I'm recalling back to the base as fast as I can as this is starting to play out. Varian moving up, is using his taunt on Garrosh. The dragon is back again. We have a lot of damage coming out from Phoenix as well. Uh, trying to spread around the... Oh, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is real bad. Good route. Nice. Huge. Oh my god. No! Oh, I almost had it up to stay alive. Imperius fighting underneath the core right now. Got, not getting much work done, and our Alex Strauss is keeping him busy. We have Phoenix trying to take down Garrosh and Rhaegar at the top of the screen, but it looks like that's not going to be enough. And after valiant effort, after valiant effort, we did, man. That's going to be GG. 106,000 damage on Jaina. And we saw glimpses of what this build is capable of, especially towards the end there. With just the insane amount of CDR you can get on that E ability, I could see why popularity of this build seemingly has gone through the roof over the past few years. That was actually really, really fun. I'm, it feels refreshing to just jump into a character and challenge myself and kind of discover with you guys or discover live rather than no lifing a character sometimes. I think we've actually hit a pretty healthy mix of the two throughout this series so far. Great job you dealt 106,000 hero damage, 138% more than similar players average of 44,580.3. <laughs> okay. We'll take your talents we used in today's video. Fingers of Frost, Arcane Intellect, Ice Flows, Summon Water Elemental into Ice Barrier, Numbing Blast. And I went for Blink at the end and then, like, didn't really use it at all, to be totally honest. Really, really tough match today. The enemy team were really difficult to take down. But somehow that's how it happens. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. One thing I should say before we leave is, oh, well, you could definitely go for Frost Armor at level four and be a little bit tankier, and that would have been just fine. We definitely could have do, done that this game. I do like the mana return, though. Being out of mana is not a happy place for me. Johan is up next. Phenomenal character who got a, uh, uh, I wouldn't say, a, yeah, I would say a full rework. She got touched up a little bit when this cosplay event started. Thank you guys for being here. Take care. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on the way out, and I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye.